Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen and today I'm going to do a walk around video of this fantastic 2011 Holden Caprice sedan. In silver, presents really, really nicely. You can see the silver and the chrome go quite nice together. Having a look at this vehicle today, we're going to point out any marks that we can see on the car, go through all the condition the right the way around and also the features inside. So starting at the front of the vehicle here, looking at the, the front bar, really good condition here. No major stone chips or anything that I can see so far. As I get to the grill, we do have a little stone chip here. Um, other than that, reasonably good condition. I can't see anything else. But looking up at the bonnet, we have another stone chip here and a couple of light little scratches on the front there. Um, other than that, down through the front, we do have our four sensors there, which are really good. Nice big headlights here and below we've got our fog lamps there too. And coming around from there to the driver's side, you'll notice we've got some very nice looking alloy wheels on our Caprice. We have one with minor little gutter rash there that I can see and down the bottom. Really, really good tyres around here as well. And then in the side here, a very nicely styled indicator and our Series 2 badging down the bottom. So looking at the paintwork on the front guard, it's really good. The door seems to be very well looked after we've got our chrome strip along the bottom looking at our color coded mirror there a little bit of a marking on the outside edge nothing so serious and a little bit of a mark on the chrome strip here as we come further back there's a couple of minor marks on the back door here uh, color coded door handles with a, a like a chrome surround which is really nice and coming back to the rear wheel guard a little bit of extra polish there Looking at the rear tyre, fantastic condition tyre on there. And looking at the rim, it does appear to be a unscuffed alloy rim too. So really good there. As we come further back, the paintwork around the car, really, really good on the back. So I'm just going to grab the key too, um, so I can show you the boot. As we push the button on the boot, it will pop open, so nice and easy to lift up there. And there's plenty of room in the back of this car. So this was designed for all you naughty kids. You can throw them in there. So having a look, we've got plenty of room um, there. And underneath, a looks like a brand new tyre with the full-size alloy wheel. does have a couple of minor marks, so it has been on the vehicle before. But as you can see, plenty of room in the back there. And the carpet's in very good condition. Carpet lined boot there too, so really nice. And as we bring the boot lid down, Looking at the condition, really good on the back here. You will notice we do have our reverse camera nicely tucked away there, the very nice holding badge. And looking at the top of the boot, really good condition there too. So that's always an added bonus. And then once again, having a look at the rear bar, very good condition, even across the top here where you'd expect a lot of marking, there's not. We've got our four sensors across the, the back with our chrome exhausts on the both sides. LED tail lights there so really well designed uh, car and looking at the left hand rear quarter panel really really good condition having a look through as we get to the rear tire great tread on there really good condition rim and looking at the doors we do have some light scratching on the doors um, does look like the kids have been on this side nothing terribly bad but some very light scratching there nevertheless and coming back down towards the front of the vehicle, once again, we do have the nice indicators in the guard there. And a little bit of gutter rushing on the front left rim here, but really, really good tyre tread there too. So overall, very good condition around the car for the age of the vehicle. And then as I come around and open the bonnet here for you, as I put the key in my pocket, so... I just have to find it that's the biggest thing so it's a nice big tab just up on the handle you can see under here we do have the v6 engine so this v6 six cylinder is going to give us a 210 kilowatt power output and 350 newton meters of torque so that's really good for being able to drive nicely out of the six-speed automatic transmission it's going to give us an average of 9.9 .9 litres per 100 kilometres so out of the 71 litre tank we have in this car we're going to get roughly 717 kilometres of very nice driving out of it all right now to the inside of our caprice i'm going to start on the driver's side here nice and easy 
nicely leather lined door and door handle. We've got our speakers nicely high in the door. Coming across to the dash, turning the steering wheel so you can see here, we have our headlight switch for our auto headlights. We do only have one key with this car. Coming up, we have our headlight uh, indicator stalk and our high beam, low beam, but it's also our cruise control, so pushing the button on the end and then it's down to set with the little tab and up to resume, so nice and easy to use. On the left hand side, we have our wiper stalk. So we do have auto wipers here, which has the sensor up in the window uh, there. And then having a look at our steering wheel, really nice steering wheel here, nice and easy to use. We've got our volume controls, our skip button there. Uh, we've got our answer button for our phone and our nav button there too. And then on the left hand side, we've got our audio and trip button there, which is really easy to use. Coming across to the middle of the vehicle, as you can see, hazard lights at the bottom, uh, sorry, hazard lights at the top. Uh, CD player there, we do have sat nav there and if we push our radio you can see it comes up with our stations along the bottom and our radio screen, you've got your answer button there and nav is on this side. Coming further down we do have our dual zone climate control and before we go too much further as I pop it into reverse you can see the whole screen changes automatically for the reverse camera, just comes up on its own. Popping it down into drive you can pop it across into the tiptronic mode with your plus minus a little bit of storage in here underneath you also have your traction stability button and your reverse sensors there so that's nice and easy to use coming further back we do have our door lock and unlock button we also have our mirror control so you can switch between your left and right mirror uh, and adjust with your window controls here and your handbrake lever we have our nice cup holder here and then popping open the center console you can see we've got a 12 volt charge point in the back we have our USB and our auxiliary port in the centre console, so nice and easy to use there too. Now having a look around, the Caprice is very nice, great looking seats, and sorry, the other thing is the driver's seat is full electric uh, adjustment, so I believe it's eight way adjustment with, uh, I think it's three memory settings um, for the, the driver's seat and right throughout the car, really good condition, very well looked after here. We've got our sunglass holder up the top in the front, as well as our map reading lights here too, which are also in the back. Okay, so that's our walk around video presentation for you today of our fantastic 2011 Holden Caprice Series 2. As you can see, overall, a really, really nice car very good condition so please give us a call here at Berwick Mitsubishi on 9907 and thanks for watching